I can ride from sunup to sundown anymore. I like to ride because it's the nicest feeling in the world. I rode in the rain and loved it just as much as I loved riding in the sun. It's a lot of camaraderie for one thing. A lot of motorcycles. People watch is awesome. The bikes are awesome. People are friendly. Kind of like a peace of mind. Relax. Forget about the world, kind of. They come from all walks of life and from city streets and country roads all across the nation and around the world. Each face is uniquely different. They're young and old, male and female too. Hardcore and laid back. They ride choppers and cruisers and sport bikes. All are united by one common interest. All are driven by one desire. They ride. I would say it's not really a, uh, a sensation of being afraid. It can be an exhilarating, almost scary sensation a lot of times with an adrenaline rush. Galveston, Texas, a beautiful island bordering the Gulf of Mexico. It boasts sandy beaches and famous 19th century architecture and quite a few seagulls. And once a year, a flock of another kind invades its shores. There's a multitude of bikers cruise in from all over the United States and the world to attend the Lone Star Motorcycle Rally. I read one time, which is that there's no problem big enough that a full tank of gas and a sunny day can't fix. So a lot of times that's what riding does for me. You know, you have you know, groups that just ride together and have a great time. And then you have motorcycle clubs, like the one I belong to, which we do exactly the same thing, it's, but it's kind of on a little different scale. We, uh, you know, from the club perspective, we look out for each other. I could ride from sunup to sundown, um, stopping occasionally. The furthest I've ever ridden in one day is probably, know, probably 600 miles, maybe, maybe 800. I never put a number on it. That's a part of the freedom. You don't look at the miles. You don't look at the time. I don't wear a watch. That, you know, it's irrelevant. As a kid, I always wanted to ride since I was a little kid, I guess. Um, just, uh, just for the sheer just being free, having fun, open road. It's awesome, it's peaceful, it's calming. Um, you compare it to how a, a dog that hangs its head out the window. <laughs> that's what it is, that's, that's the fun of it. <laughs> I just love the freedom of the road, being by yourself, being your thoughts. It's a nice way to travel and come out of here. Everybody that gets together and rides together. Got a bunch of friends that ride together, we all go and things. The feeling is kind of hard to describe. Uh, I don't know, it's just, uh, it's just, you're just open air, uh, nothing pressing, relaxed, the wind on your face, uh, you know, just, uh, the, the smells, as you're going through different parts of the country, you smell things that are different, like flowers or wheat or hay or whatever. And, uh, you know, it's just, a, it's just a real nice experience. kind of like going down the road in the car with a top down, I guess. My father rides and my uncles ride, so it was, I was destined to ride. It's, it's a lot of freedom. You, you feel like um, you can smell everything around you. You can hear everything around you. Um, you, you definitely don't feel like you're protected. You feel more like you're you're more out there and, and uh, in nature. I got into 
riding because I like the freedom and I like the different smells of the atmosphere and it's just awesome. I enjoy it. I've been trying to go to every bike rally in Texas. So, um, you know, just get away a little while. Have some time for myself and uh, chill out with the guys. And ride around. That's what it's all about. My dad's been riding for over 50 years, and uh, he has nothing but Harleys. And so we kind of grew up with that that mentality of, you know, one day we get older, you know, get a Harley just like my dad. And uh, I got five brothers, and they all have bikes. I expect a lot of camaraderie for one thing. Uh, a lot of motorcycles, a lot of sights to see. Uh, a lot of things to buy, a lot of vendors, a lot of various uh, vendors. They sell everything from uh, leather to jewelry, uh, and again, great food, but uh, just a lot of nice people. Uh, it's just a fun time. It's, the travel's part of it, the traveling. The traveling to and from is, for us, is a big, a large part of it. We really enjoy that part of it. So. Hang out, look at parts, and motorcycles, hang out with people that's enjoy the same sort of thing you do. That's pretty much all I mess with anymore is motorcycles. I don't even do with car shows anymore and none of that stuff. I do with motorcycles and, and ride. So just hangs out with people like yourself. It's an adrenaline rush. It's like a good high. Being free, get out, do what you want to. Just ride. I've been riding since 2002. What got you into riding? Just real generic. Like, real generic. Uh, met a guy that owned a bike and he broke a date and uh, we bought my own bike. So now I can ride and I don't need uh, another guy to ride. I go to motorcycle rallies to hang out with friends, enjoy a good crazy time, um, see all different types of bikes, all different types of people, people from all over the country. It's, it's fun. Galveston Rally is uh, one of the biggest ones in this area. It's definitely bigger than ROT, but you're on the coast. Uh, everybody's just friendly, happy, just wild, crazy, like to drink, have a good time, don't worry about anything, and let your spirits fly. Besides seeing all the bikes and getting ideas, um, it's a lot of fun just to see Friends. I mean, you run into people you know, and likewise other clubs that you don't normally get to see. Um, it's nice to it's just nice to be here in a community of all the same kind of people. We like the people watch. The people watch is awesome. The bikes are awesome. People are friendly. Uh, you put anybody on a bike, usually it's all good times. You don't worry about anything and uh, just ride and have a good time.
riding since I was uh, 15, 32 years. I've been here like three times. Why do you go to rallies? Uh, for the fun, the, the partying, the, a bunch of our friends go, we all meet up, ride down to the rallies and stuff like that. The minute you get on the bike, you forget about everything else. It just clears your mind, it's very peaceful. Uh, it's just something awesome. The Lone Star Rally is becoming more popular than ever in this harbor town, and attendees are growing in number by leaps and bounds. This is the eighth year, and over 100,000 bikers made the journey to Galveston Island to revel in the camaraderie of the rally. The Lone Star Rally is the third largest biker rally in the U.S. and is enjoyed by all types of riders. Oh my God! <laughs> We're having a wonderful time. <laughs> What do you like about this? Uh, all the bikes. Oh, of course. Listen and, to it, the noise. And the naked ladies. Oh, well, <laughs> they the boys like those a lot. <laughs> Choppers, cruisers, sport bikes, and trikes flood the strip in Galveston. When I was a teenager, I had choppers back in them days, and then as my kids' responsibilities came more uh, expensive, I had to do that. Now they're gone, and now we're able to, uh, to do the Harley stuff. We come down to the rally every year. We're down here. We've been coming, uh, I guess the first two years we missed it, but we've been here ever since. and I are in the Christian Motorcycle Association and uh, we are uh, we're active with them we have a new chapter in Rio Dosa New Mexico where we live my name is Pastor Sam Sassman and I'm with the tribe of Judah motorcycle ministry aka Slam and Sam <laughs> Our function is to make sure that everybody knows that heaven is real 
and hell is real. And that's why we're here, to spread the gospel. And young lady, do you know that Jesus loves you too? That's all you need to know. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. That's right. Ninety percent of the bikers are, are very friendly. Uh, they'll do anything to help you. Um, of course, in every crowd, there's a few bad ones, but uh, I found that most of them are, are real friendly. They're real helpful. They'll do anything to to help you if if you get in a in a bind. Rallies every year that they have, they are very fun, and I like to come to them because there's so much here to buy. You know, I'm saying so many different things at the motorcycle rally. People to meet a lot of things. To me, I come to this rally because I get to meet new people and I get to see what's things that's out here. You know, it's kind of like an experience for me.
best way to describe it is total, complete freedom. I'd have to say I feel at most one with everything. You can get on the back of the bike and you don't think about your life or anything else because you're just so enthralled with everything that's going on. It doesn't matter how long I have to be on the back of the bike. It doesn't matter if it's wet. I rode in the rain and loved it just as much as I loved riding in the sun. It doesn't bother me when it's cold because you're still feeling things different. It's the closest that you could possibly be to God, in my opinion. Well, I like to ride because it's the nicest feeling in the world. It's the nicest way of seeing places. I've been riding since I was about 15, which is 45 years. I've been come over to America to ride around in the sunshine, all the way from England. Fantastic place to ride. Exhilarating, fun, uh, top notch. It's basically how I can put it. It's very fun. Freedom. Is there freedom? Any, freedom is the yeah. word. Yeah, it's uh, mental therapy. There ain't no we, bikes in front of a psychiatrist's no, office. Oprah and Dr. Phil can't fix you. Well, the bike can. It's a rush. Wind in your face. It's a. Uh, some more risk than a car because there's nothing around you to protect you but air and God. It is a uh, wonderful feeling, carefree, uh, independence, confidence, and uh, I look good. The wind is your friend. <laughs> the wind is your friend. <laughs> oh my God, how is it? Dangerous curves. Just outside of Houston, Texas is Alvin's Bar. It's a hole in the wall where bikers come to relax, hang out, and drink some beer. service when I was in the Navy. Uh, just kind of like a way to get away. Kind of like a peace of mind. Relax. Forget about the world, kind of. been a passenger on a motorcycle for at least 20 years. Started off on the back of my daddy's bike <laughs> and moved up from there. It's peaceful. It's uh, after a really stressful week to get on the back of a bike and just ride. It's amazing. Uh, when I first rode a motorcycle with my dad, I was between the age of five and eight. Um, he would just take us for short little rides around the block, and it was super special, super fun. And uh, if we got to go any further than that, <laughs> we felt really special. He would um, 
That was kind of a treat. We uh, would maybe go spend the night at a friend's house and dad would come pick us up on the motorcycle and it was just like our time. And it was fun. I, don't, I guess the first time I was on the back of a bike is when my dad got his Honda and I was probably about five. And then my mom made him get rid of it because she was scared he was going to kill himself. It was really great. It was awesome being on the back of my dad's bike or on the front. Because he usually set me in between his legs in the front of the bike because I was so little. It, it made my love for bikes grow immensely. I guess my first ride was actually a four-legged ride. It was a quarter horse Arabian mix. Then I graduated to motorcycles. I used to drive taxi. Before that, I was a stripper, back in the days of burlesque. And uh, I met the vice president of a chapter in Morgan City, Louisiana. And we hit it off. Actually, some hard leg was bothering me to dance, and I went over and crawled up in his lap, and I said, look, I just told this guy you were my husband. He won't leave me alone. He saw your big, mean biker look, and he did an about face and walked away and left me alone. And that night, I crawled on the back of his bike and stayed there for several months. I'm Jimmy Cash. I've been racing for three years and riding for 39, and I'm at the uh, Eagles Canyon track. Today we're uh, at what you typically call a track day. It's open to the public. Uh, there's various levels. There's uh, everything from beginner street riders to racers like me that are out practicing. You get in a situation, the adrenaline rush you'll get is when, uh, there's two ways. There's just the um, adrenaline of accomplishment that you've set a bet your personal best lap time or you've passed someone uh, and then there's the adrenaline rush where you've pushed your limits almost too far and uh, you've recovered from that and come out of it. Being on the racetrack involves a lot of physical endurance and, and mental endurance. You have to be totally focused on what you're doing and uh, you have to be physically capable of keeping up with the bike. The thing that I love about the motorcycle community and, and especially the, the racing uh, environment is everyone is out to help you. It's, it's a very personal style of racing. You have to rely on the guy next to you to do his job so that you both don't get in trouble. You're always out helping each other and uh, giving each other a hand and it's a great place to make long-term lasting friendships. I'm Ty Howard, race motorcycles professionally, and also teach uh, Ride Smart and Skip Barber Racing School. This track here at Eagles Canyon in uh, just north of Decatur is a very nice track. The, the, the layout is probably one of the most technical tracks in the, in the country. It's got uh, multiples of uh, uh, blind corners. Uh, it's, uh, I think, 2.8 miles long. It's got uh, numerous straightaways that you can get to top gear on these uh, motorcycles. 
and um, it uh, offers a wide variety of corners, unlike most tracks that are kind of cookie cutter. ECR also has a couple different uh, asphalt and uh, cement patches, so that uh, keeps you on your toes a little bit too. Even though they got great traction, it's still a, it's still a variation of, uh, of adhesion that you feel. I started on mini bikes when I was four years old and uh, gradually worked my way up and began racing dirt bikes around eight years old. Got a little more serious when I was becoming a teenager and I switched over to road racing when I was 17. I've been road racing ever since and so I've been a professional for uh, uh, God, right at 18 years now, 19 years. So I've uh, been doing it for a long time and it's basically the only way I've ever made a living. Riding motorcycles is very, uh, very dangerous, and uh, if, if you don't respect your motorcycle and everybody you ride with, uh, you could, in, could get injured very badly. Uh, um, therefore, I recommend anybody getting started in it uh, seek, uh, seek uh, instruction uh, before they try to exceed their uh, their limits. I ride for the adrenaline rush, the thrill of the pucker factor come into a corner at 130 miles an hour and uh, you're saying, oh shit, am I going to stop or not? Uh, that's the rush of, and that's why I race. Yeah, I got into racing, club racing, in uh, 2008 and uh, came from uh, local street racing and uh, started losing a lot of friends. Uh, death on the street, and uh, you know I got a wife and kids, and uh, I was looking for a safer way to go out and ride. Balls to the wall. Now, the majority of the biker communities that I know of are all uh, very, you know, friendly, family oriented. Uh, like to, uh, you know, get to know a lot, a lot of people. So my name is Jason Hutchison. I've been uh, riding sport bikes for about two years now. A buddy of mine that I worked with, uh, I was selling a car and uh, he, he was a Ducati enthusiast, so uh, he insisted I buy the motorcycle and uh, I bought, it, bought that uh, Ducati Monster and I had it for about a year and then I, I bought a 96 Super Sport. Uh, street bikes I've been riding two years. I uh, started, of course, as a kid I rode dirt bikes and hurt myself a lot. You know, it's, uh, motorcycles is, I guess it's like any other group, but once you, you, you know, you have a common uh, bond with, with people, and so you just, you know, you, you find people that have similar interests, so you just hang out, and it really is a great time just hanging out with friends. I would say it's not really a, a, a sensation of being afraid. Uh, sometimes you get a little bit more excited than other times, uh, but, you know, um, I suppose since I have I have been racing for uh, 30 years now, I uh, kind of got over the uh, whole being scared thing. I guess when I was younger, under 10 or so, uh, it was probably a little bit spooky at, at times when stuff happened. Or, uh, but now it's just something you're just used to. You know that eventually you're going to fall. It's not a, a, a really a question of uh, uh, how bad you're going to fall or anything like that. It's just when. You know, and a lot of the crashes are very slow, low sides, which aren't a big deal. But then sometimes there, you get into a pretty good tangle, and and uh, uh, you don't get to slide. You can do a little flipping, and then the, then you kind of get a little worried that whether or not you got hurt or not when you stop. And uh, usually, uh, usually nine times out of ten, you're you're okay. Now let's switch gears and leave the high speed of the race track and cruise Route 66 right through the desert of Hackberry in northwestern Arizona. I'm Fred Wood with the Route 66 Riders and we're in uh, Hackberry, Arizona on Route 66. The club is uh, primarily a club that's uh, interested in uh, getting uh, 
riding enthusiasts together and we stress safety. We ride, we like to ride safe and not drink while you ride and that sort of thing. Uh, we have about uh, 90 members and uh, usually have uh, 15 or 20 on our rides. It goes right through Kingman where, we, where I live. Most of us live there and uh, so uh, it's really a fun highway to ride. One of my favorite rides is from Kingman to uh, up to Seligman and uh, we like to stop here at Hackberry. Uh, John that owns this uh, Hackberry store is uh, always a fun guy to stop and see and we stop at Peach Springs and maybe at the, at the canyons and uh, just makes a nice day of it. Not a lot of traffic but uh, you can have a lot of fun out here riding Route 66. We did 40,000 miles in a year on motorcycles. We just came back from being in Oregon. We rode up Highway 1 up through California, up through Oregon, Washington, went over to Idaho, come back through Nevada. We both like riding. We uh, enjoy each other's company. We're some of the in the group of motorcycle riders that belong to the club of Route 66, we are a couple of the older riders, but not the oldest. We have some current riders in their 80s who ride with us, and they ride on Route 66. And uh, Jenny here got her license when she was 73. Thank you. <laughs> and she's had it a number of years. <laughs> So you can be active at an older age on a motorcycle. Well, my son always wanted me to ride, and I wouldn't do it. So then after my husband died, and I met up with another gentleman named Walt. So he took me around on his motorcycle, and I came back, and I told Walt, if we're going to ride motorcycles with all your health problems, that's the way we're going to go. And I've been riding ever since. That's about seven years ago. We had an older bike and then uh, we had problems with it, so we sold that and got this one that I have right here. It's a 96. And I've got about 67,000 miles on it. So uh, it's been a lot of fun, very enjoyable. I'm Lisa Boyd. I'm the detailer at Motopia Cafe. Motopia has a garage that we service and maintain bikes. We'll have people schedule an appointment to come in and I'll clean the bike look it over good. Uh, we've got a nine point inspection system that we use to make sure the bike goes back out in a uh, roadworthy condition. Um, principally, that's my, my job is, is doing the, the bike detailing and work. what I do. Um, it's a, a neat thing. I feel very strongly about motorcycling and riding safely and all of that so it's it's a neat thing for me. It's also um, a relaxed environment that uh, is very enjoyable. I get to meet a lot of different people and um, it's it's a really neat experience. So I started riding later in life. Um, my background is actually in motorsports. Um, I 
started racing at the club level, the amateur level uh, SCCA. And I got a lot of experience doing that, raced for 13 years, uh, won the Southwest Division in 1998. And once I retired from the racing uh, scene, I got into motorcycles. And so once I, I got involved with that, I kind of never looked back. Sold my race car and have been working on motorcycles and riding uh, pretty much nonstop. Those tight spots where I need to close this thing. Okay. Sit down. 